now from the industrial application now to the civil engineering applications and uh, and technical uh, methods the design of a structure can, that can uh, withstand the dynamic loads requires uh, a deep understanding uh, of the dynamic behavior of materials uh, and natural events uh, such as uh, hurricane earthquakes rock fall or tsunami or human uh, accident uh, uh, actions uh, such as uh, impact uh, or blast uh, can trigger uh, these uh, type of actions. The Kolsky bar uh, or split open zone bar uh, is uh, universally recognized uh, as the most appropriate method to, to study material behavior in the extreme rate range of 100 up to 1000, uh, 1000 um, strain per second. The dynamic uh, equilibrium is uh, an essential requirement that uh, has to be met in order to ensure a uniform state of stress and strain across the spaceman. Three around uh, trips in the spaceman are generally accepted as the necessary amount of time to reach this state. And therefore, the shorter the sample, the earlier equilibrium will be reached. Spaceman gauge length is then uh, critical factor affecting both the plastic strain rate and the formation capacity. The project uh, I'm presenting oh, is uh, uh, an experimental. Uh, yes, is uh, I'm moving. Uh, now, okay, now it's okay. moving. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the project I'm presenting is an experimental and numerical investigation addressed to this uh, issue in the laboratory that I presented uh, to to speech before. And uh, uh, the tensile testing at a high strain rate uh, was performed by means uh, the split open some tensile bar installed uh, in uh, our laboratory. Uh, pulling uh, the uh, pretensional bar that is clamped uh, in one uh, hand and by blocking device and uh, the other is connected with a, uh, an hydraulic actuator, it is possible to store uh, uh, elastic energy in it, uh, the preloading uh, uh, governs the test velocity, the test, the test starts by releasing uh, in the, um, with the brittle uh, fracture of the um, bolts uh, in the blocking device so that the incident wave um, pulse propagates through the input bar, reach the spaceman and uh, um, at that point, uh, some part uh, is reflected uh, back uh, and another is transmitted to the um, output bar. The pulse uh, were recorded by means of uh, string gauges uh, in, the, in the two bars, uh, and the graph uh, shows uh, uh, the um, input and output uh, signals uh, as a function of time. The, um, we have uh, used the commercially available uh, P500A steel uh, rebar. The round samples uh, having a three millimeter in diameter with uh, three different gauge lengths, 5, 10, and 15 were used. The specimen were obtained by a 12 millimeter uh, uh, rebar. The common belief uh, for um, that long spacemen in general are not uh, adequate for uh, split open some tensile bar is now discussed. This, is, this issue uh, is related to the stress equilibrium, the stress uniformity and uh, strain localization. The question is, uh, uh, what is the optimal uh, gauge length for dynamic tensile spacemen? Or uh, is it true that longer spacemen is not adequate uh, and why? Let's consider the uh, stress equilibrium. In this slide, I've uh, reported the signal obtained for uh, five and 15 gauge length. Uh, you can see that uh, the equilibrium is reached uh, in the elastic part of the material response. And this is uh, evident observing that uh, incident and uh, reflected uh, pulse signals, uh, incident plus reflected signals uh, are uh, equal to the transmitted uh, one. Reported here, uh, the load versus time curves for the two gauge length um, shown uh, before, considering uh, the stress, strain and strain rate formula, it is uh, justified uh, uh, the application of a simplified and well-known explanation of the split, split open some bar theory that uh, is uh, this one. By imposing uh, this 
the same preloading to the pretensioned bar, different material uh, response are recorded because of the gauge length. Uh, so different strain rates are imposed, uh, consequently change strength and strain capacity. To solve uh, this, uh, uh, this problem, um, the pretension must be increased by increasing uh, uh, the, the gauge length. Uh, as a result, same for the same strain rate is, is obtained um, uh, as well as the response described in terms of stress time and stress uh, strain curves. And obviously, the two curves are identical, but differ only after uh, the making phenomenon. Regarding the deformation uh, state, uh, in the spacemen with uh, five uh, millimeter and 10 millimeter gauge length, the neck developed in the middle. And uh, the neck, uh, uh, for the longer uh, gauge length, the neck developed near the end at uh, 20, 30% of the gauge length as found uh, also by other researcher. The spaceman profile has been measured and before and after the test is shown in the slide. And this graph uh, refer for the case of a five millimeter and 15 millimeter. On the base of this measurement, uh, the plastic strain is derived uh, from the natural log logarithmic of the ratio between initial and final uh, cross section, and uh, two observations can be done. First, the dimension of the necking zone is constant, as well as the failure plastic strain. The second observation is that in the longer space sample, the plastic strain uh, shows variations that indicate possible uh, plastic localization in the pre-notch, pre-necking pre phase. So a numerical simulation of dynamic test, intensive test was conducted using LSDYNA. Uh, to analyze both the distribution and the evolution of the plastic strain, as well as the dynamic neck formation. The spaceman was modeled uh, using uh, our uh, model, the damp model, which take uh, yielding into account uh, as a transient propagation of the shear waves uh, uh, from the initialization point. If, uh, the, for the, this uh, preliminary uh, simulation, uh, eight node hexahedral uh, solid element uh, were used, and the uh, mesh size of uh, 0 0.46 millimeter was used for the spaceman and 0 0.92 millimeter for the bars. In the case of the long spaceman, um, the mesh size allows uh, uh, for the highlighting uh, the, the deformation phase during the transition from uh, elastic to plastic. Uh, the uniform deformation and multiple uh, plastic localization in the initial phase and plastic deformation as shown in the, in the slide. And the necking at uh, high strain localization is uh, experimentally and numerically analyzed. So in the next two slides, we will see the, uh, this is uh, the, um, the experimental results, so the picture of the uh, broken um, spacemen uh, are different uh, with different uh, gauge length. And this is the, the simulation obtaining a very good similarity. To conclude, uh, the use of short spacemen is recommended, but not mandatory. Provided adequate numerical calculation are carried out along uh, with experiment. Samples with uh, 5, 10, and 15 millimeter gauge length were tested and modeled uh, in order to validate the uniformity of the stress and strain in the gauge length during the experiment in the pre necking phase. And in order to obtain the same plastic strain, strain rate uh, using a different gain ledge. Uh, the, in the split opinion bar, we, uh, the preload have to be in, uh, adapted. The use of longer samples uh, still allowed uh, to obtain a uniform state of stress and strain. 
the short specimen failure and the mid length due to the parabolic strain distribution, whereas longer specimen can fail anywhere along the gauge length due to their uniform strain distribution. The use of a shorter sample guarantees the, that the neck develop in the middle, assuring, uh, for example, to concentrate the analysis, the attention, the video and so on, and the other um, measuring tools in the known uh, position. Thank you for your attention.